Environmental issues are some of the most pressing problems faced in the world today, which explains their inclusion into the Millennium Development Goals and into the Goals of Sustainable Development, which the international community will strive to achieve after 2015. Human activities related to production and consumption on the one hand lead to an increase in demand for natural resources and on the other hand lead to environmental deterioration. Therefore, in 1972, in accordance with the UN General Assembly, World Environment Day was established and has since been celebrated annually on the 5th of June. On May the 28th in Tashkent, the International Hotel Tashkent conducted a ceremony to open Echo Week 2013. At the official ceremony, speeches were made by the member of the Committee on Agriculture, Water Resources and Ecology of the Senate of the Oli Majlis of Uzbekistan, Holmurad Karimov, the Chairman of the State Committee of the Republic of Uzbekistan and National Coordinator of the UN Convention on Biological Diversity, Nariman Umarov, and the UN Resident Coordinator and UNDP Resident Representative in Uzbekistan, Stefan prisoner. At the opening ceremony was an exhibition of projects launched by the UN Office in Uzbekistan and the State Committee of the Republic of Uzbekistan on Nature Protection. On display were materials demonstrating the scale of the work of organizers within the field of environmental protection. Models of UNDP projects demonstrated potential energy savings and the use of renewable energy sources. Films and animations in the Russian and Uzbek languages presented useful information about how to behave during an earthquake. During the second half of the day at the Redison Blue Hotel, a conference was devoted to the fifth anniversary of the Small Grants Program of the Global Environment Facility in Uzbekistan. The attending farmers, entrepreneurs, representatives of ministries and departments, members of the diplomatic corps, international organizations and journalists were presented with the technologies utilized by and the results of various GFCSGP projects. The EU project increasing environmental awareness to enhance the partnership of the European Union and Central Asia held a media tour to Samarkand which presented recycled water supplies and the reuse of water. The media tour was a very important part of Air Co Week as journalists play an important role in raising environmental awareness. The media tour participants included correspondents from print and electronic media both in Tashkent and various regions of Uzbekistan. JV Man, Auto Uzbekistan and some after automobile companies where they familiarized themselves with the water recycling practices and water purification systems used by self-employed businesses in the country. A visit to the school number 39 in the Andijan region built in order to meet energy efficiency needs was the third Echo Week 2013 event of the day. The construction of the school located in the Tashkurgan village in the Qurgan Tipa district of the Andijan region has been the result of work carried out by the UNDP, GF and Gos Architect Stroy project promoting energy efficiency in public buildings in Uzbekistan. A number of technologies were applied during the construction of the school including thermal caps, new foundations and floors, ventilated facades and attics, heat reflective screens and others.
On the 3rd of June, the Navoy region hosted a forum on environmental protection and sustainable development, which was attended by representatives of the Navoy Regional Committee for Nature Protection, the Ecological Movement of Uzbekistan, the Navoy State Pedagogical Institute, and the Navoy Mining and Metallurgical Combine. At the opening ceremony, the students of the Faculty of Natural History of the Navoy State Pedagogical Institute presented an exhibition and theatrical performances regarding environmental issues. On the 4th of June, an environmental initiative improved and cleaned the area around the Arium Canal, which is close to the Aralovul village. In the village, the UNDP project, Climate Risk Management in Uzbekistan, had built a structure through which irrigation water is supplied to the properties of villages. After the initiative, the Resources and Information Center for Climate Risk Management, created by the Environment and Ecology Department of the Karshi Engineering Economic Institute, was opened, and the winners were selected among the participating masters and bachelor students for the best ecological outlooks. As part of the project, 500 Echo Week posters highlighting the importance of energy efficiency were placed in public transport in Tashkent, while the Tashkent radio channel hosted a quiz on energy efficiency. Есть один дозвонившийся к нам. Первый вопрос. Во сколько раз энергосберегающие лампы могут снизить энергопотребление в квартире? Большое спасибо. Оставьте ваши контактные телефоны у нас в студии. Мы обязательно вам перезвоним. Спасибо. On the 5th of June, World Environment Day, the Echo Week 2013 closing ceremony was held at the Gafur Gulen Park of Culture and Rest and featured the campaign for the purity of air and water. The morning featured performances by teams from the Barkamol Avlot Centers of Children's Creativity, a pavement drawing competition and master classes in drawing, sculpting, beading, cutting and sewing, knitting and design. The closing ceremony began with welcoming speeches made by the chairman of the State Committee for Nature Protection of the Republic of Uzbekistan and the National Coordinator of the UN Convention on Biological Diversity, Nariman Omarov, and the UNDP Deputy Resident Representative in Uzbekistan, Yaku Silis.